Hi there. Today, I will show you how you can create an exit intent pop-up that will link to your Instagram account and will only show for people that came from an ad that ran on Instagram. So for this, what you will need is an ads manager account on Meta, a Google Tech Manager account, and also you will have to create an account at Popup Smart. It's the tool I'll be using to create this little pop-up. Of course, you can use any pop-up solution you want, but for the purpose of this example, I'll be using the Popup Smart tool on popupsmart.com. Now, this pop-up will only show when people have an intent to exit your website and only after they've clicked an ad on Instagram. So we know these are people that came from the Instagram app. By targeting only people that came from the Instagram app, we know they are using Instagram. And of course, they also shown an interest in your business. So these people are more likely to follow your page on Instagram. First things first, if you want to leverage this technique, you will need to add URL parameters to each of your meta ads. So at the ad level, make sure to build a URL parameter and at the source, the campaign source, so the UTM source, you could use a dynamic variable like um, the um, site source name. Now, if people click on your Facebook ads, this will be replaced by FB. If people click on your ad on Instagram, it will be replaced by IG. Now for the purpose of this demo, I'm just manually providing Instagram as the UTM source. In the medium, it's the same principle. I like using the CPC and campaign name, it can just be your campaign name. For this demo, we will only be leveraging the campaign source, the UTM source. So as you can see, Instagram, the UTM source is Instagram. Be sure to apply it to all your ads. And now let's navigate to the Popup Smart website where we will start building our exit intent pop-up. Okay, so right here, I'm at the popupsmart.com website. And right here, you will have to build your pop-up campaign. So you will have to click the new campaign button to get started. And I've already built my pop-up, so I will walk you through the steps to create an Instagram follow pop-up. First things first, click to create a new campaign. The first step is to select a template. Just pick one you like and click to select to edit the template. So right here, you can build a pop-up. This is an image I've uploaded right here. I've uploaded my image. And also I've linked it to my Instagram account. Below there's a little headline text. You can put in whatever you want right here, but make sure to also um, provide an incentive so people are more likely to follow your Instagram account. So I'm um, offering some special uh, offers. Right below, you can add a little text. And of course, also an icon of Instagram. And both the icon as the follow us image are clickable and they link to my Instagram account. In the next step, you can select the style and set whatever you want, small, medium, large pop-up. You can center it on the page or you can align it at the left top. Uh, just select what you, whatever you want. Um, you can also select some body styles, text sizes and fonts, button styles, etc. In the next step, you can set the segment. So when do you want to show this pop-up? Now, this is the most important part of the segment. It's the user behavior. I've selected the exit intent with a sensitivity of high, which means that whenever a person is likely to exit my website, the pop-up will show. You can also set the frequency settings only uh, once every page, or you can also uh, select to stop showing the pop-up uh, after someone clicked on the pop-up or uh, they have closed the pop-up. When you're done, be sure to save it and hit publish. Once you've published your pop-up, you will see it in the pop-up campaigns overview. And then you can navigate to the embed code. 
And right here, you would want to select the GTM, the Google Tech Manager code, because in this demo, we will be using the Google Tech Manager interface. So go ahead and copy the code. Now we navigate to Google Tech Manager, where we will create a tag to show and fire the pop-up based on a trigger that will extract the query UTM source from the ads destination URL. So go ahead and navigate to your Google Tech Manager account. Right here, I'm in my Google Tech Manager account. And the first thing you would want to create is a variable that will extract the UTM source parameter from the ads destination URL. So select a URL and right here, the component type, select query. The query key would be UTM underscore source. Let's name the variable also the same, UTM underscore source and save the variable. The next step is to create a trigger that will use the variable. So hit to create a new trigger. Select the page view type and right here, select some page views where the variable equals, in this case, Instagram. Now, if you are using dynamic parameters in your URL setup at the ad site, you can also provide IG instead of Instagram. I will save this trigger as the Instagram source and hit save. The final step in Google Tech Manager is to create a tag. So hit to create a new tag. And remember that we've copied the code at the pop-up smart website. So right now we'll have to paste it. Select the custom HTML, paste the code. Under advanced settings, be sure to also require additional consent. And I also want to fire this pop-up once for every page. So um, set the tag firing options to once per page. Right now, you will also have to add the trigger we've just created. Select to add the trigger. Search for the Instagram source. Select it. And just name your tag pop-up Instagram follow or whatever you want. Hit save to save the tag. Now let's test our configuration and hit the preview button. Just for the purpose of debugging, manually add the UTM source is Instagram and hit connect. Right here, I've opened my website with the UTM parameter uh, is Instagram. And now let's see what happens when I try to uh, exit my website. As you can see, the pop-up is now showing, and when I click on it, it opens my Instagram account. So I can easily follow the page. That's it. Uh, you can get really creative using this technique. You can create different pop-ups for uh, all your socials, TikTok, Facebook, LinkedIn. It's all the same principle, just extract some parts of the URL and use it as a trigger to show your uh, pop-up. You can also, instead of using an, a pop-up or an uh, exit intent pop-up, you could also create dynamic content, uh, which means that whenever your trigger detects someone's coming from Instagram, you're adapting the content on your page uh, to a different message, different content that is more in line with your Instagram content. So get creative. Let me know how you are using this technique. And I hope you really like this quick tutorial and I see you for more and follow me on YouTube and LinkedIn for more. Bye-bye.